Mike Reese is ready to go, covers the Patriots for us. So, Mike, what can you tell us about where the quarterback battle in New England stands going into this game? Well, Greeny, this is where it's all going down tonight. Let's get fired up here right after 8 o'clock in the morning, right? Uh, Cam has taken all the number one reps in practice. He's always the first quarterback through the drills, but there is a developing story behind him. Mac Jones is making an impression on his teammates. I talked to Trent Brown, the seven-year offensive tackle, about Mac, and he told me, I think he can be special. He's making some throws that you don't expect a quarterback at that stage to make. And that sort of sets the stage tonight for Mac because it's one thing to make those throws in practice. It's another to make them in a game. So he wants to show that he can do that tonight. Really quickly, Reese, do we have a sense of how much we should expect to see them both? Well, you know Bill Belichick. He likes to keep that stuff pretty close to the hoodie, as I like to say it, Greedy. Uh, so that, that decision is going to come down to him. And it could be a long time. It could be a short time. But, but really, in the big picture, they're going to Philadelphia uh, on Monday and Tuesday for joint practices. So that's something he's going to be considering. But a lot of times, that can be due to game conditions. Do they come out and play well, get them out of there, or do they need more time? Really, that's Bill Belichick, and no one else knows that answer. All right, really well done. Reese, outstanding. I love the enthusiasm. We'll see you with your coverage throughout the day as I bring the rest of the crew back in here. So, Mac, making an impression is the way that we describe that. Lewis Riddick, what are you watching for in each of these quarterbacks tonight? Yeah, I think, Greeny, how they handle situational football, which is, is something that is so burned into my brain from hearing Bill talk about it over and over and over again with the, every single player that he coaches. And, this, and it's no different for the quarterbacks. As a matter of fact, it's a point of emphasis for the quarterbacks. So how are these guys going to perform on third down? How are they going to perform when they get in the red area? How are they going to perform in two-minute type of situations? And lastly, but most importantly, just how many points do they put on the board or put their team in position to score points You know, when their time has comes out, comes out there on the football? field that's what's going to be the deciding factor for these two guys and look I I, I can echo what Mike Reese is saying because I'm hearing the same things Mac is coming on strong and that is something that is felt by both I believe the people who are coaching him and, and by the people who are playing with him and that's not to discount anything that Cam Newton is doing because Cam is admittedly and obviously much better than he was last year and I got to see him play twice up close and personal he is light years ahead of where he was last year but this is something I felt was truly going to be the one true head-to-head -head battle during training camp. Maybe Cam still does ultimately wind up being the starter week one. But Mac Jones is making a strong push here. And situational football is going to be really what it's all about for Bill because it's always about that for Bill. I remind everybody, Lewis played for Bill Belichick in Cleveland. Dan, you, you had an interesting way of looking at what, at what you expect or, or hope to see from these guys tonight. Yeah, who hurts their football team the least? I think that's going to go a long way to determining who's going to be the guy. And I'm, I'm not talking about strictly just interceptions, you know, but this is a football team, and I've said it all offseason, that is going to ask the least amount from their quarterback, maybe out of anybody in the NFL. Dominant offensive line and run game, and the defense is going to be back to being really good. So what quarterback hurts their offense the least? Uh, first down, and we drop back, and, and somebody's not open. Throw the ball away instead of taking that sack. So we can play from second and 10 and not second and 16. Or you know what we call a shot and it's not there. And instead of you forcing it and it becoming a 50-50 ball incompletion, take your check down. Then it's second and four. That's the way I'm looking at it with not hurting your football team because there's a very specific style that this offense is going to play with. And I think on top of the interceptions, what quarterback does the least amount of that tonight is going to go a long way to kind of catapult them to being their guy. Bill Belichick is notorious for saying, well, we're, we're going to make the other team beat us. That's part of this. He's talked about efficiency and consistency at that spot. You can't be efficient and consistent while making mistakes, mental errors at the quarterback spot. I think it's huge starting tonight for both those guys. Me too. And, and, and Dan, you know, you think about it. I mean, Mac Jones is eventually going to be the quarterback of this team. They drafted him in the first round. So it's really just a question of when. So I think it is important for Cam as well because the bottom line of it is he'd like to be someone's quarterback right. next year. Yeah, look, Cam has to play well too, right? He's coming off a year, as Lewis referenced, where he didn't play up to his standards or as well as the Patriots thought he could. So that's part of this story. But, I mean, you hear what Mike Reese is saying, and Mike's as good as anybody in the business. He obviously knows his team inside and out. Mac Jones making an impression. 
he has checked every box that they would have asked him to or expected him to at mm. this point in practices, controlled environment. Tonight is against a team that is allowed to hit him, that will be trying to trick him. This is something the Patriots haven't yet seen from Mac Jones right. at the NFL level. So it's an important night for them to sh for him to show them what he can do in a non-controlled situation. Right. The last one of those we saw was against Ohio State. He looked pretty yeah, good in that exactly. one, but it was an awful long time ago. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.